بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على خير الأنبياء والمرسلين وحبيبي إله العالمين أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين Distinguished guests, dear brothers and sisters in the force and children at home watching the show Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My name is Ali Fadl, I am presenter of Verses of Love, the Mini Hussein edition We are practically halfway through Muharram right now so all of you at home who are watching this you might have just been to the Majlis or you're going to the Majlis later on, just know that although it's halfway done out of the 10 nights, that you still have five more days to do more when it comes to serving Imam Hussain Hussain. You still have, let's just say, by five days in, you might feel like, you know what, I'm not really connected that much to Imam Hussain But you still have five more nights to make it right. And inshallah, continue the service for Imam Hussain Hussain. Tonight, we are remembering a man um, who was the representative of Imam al Hussein in a different country. So similar to how we have now in politics, um, different countries. So for example, we have Iraq, right? Uh, Iraq has a man who, different men, but Iraq is a country that has a man that goes to, for example, the UK. And he represents everything that Iraq stands for. Yeah. So for example, um, what's right, what's wrong, you know, what they think is right, what they think is wrong. Anyway, Muslim Ibn Aqil alayhi salam, he represented everything about Imam al Hussein. Yeah, so when he spoke to other people in different countries, when he spoke to other people in different countries, he told them, this is who Imam al Hussein is, this is what he stands for, this is what's right, and this is what's wrong. Anyway, so the question I wanted to ask, uh, of course, welcoming onto the show our ever present two presenters. The poet uh, Sayhan Jatta, Salaamu Alaikum. And of course, the lecturer. Uh, I want to say Hajj, uh, and I believe um, I might have said it in previous episodes, uh, but inshallah, Hajj in the future. Inshallah. But for now, uh, Brother Hussein Tef, Salaamu Alaikum. Wa alaikum and a first on uh, Imam Hussein uh, TV, and also a first for Verses of Love, Mini Hussein edition. Uh, my son, uh, Hussein Fadl, Salaamu Alaikum. Alaikum so, It's a pleasure to have you all three. Uh, as always, I ask a question for you, the dear viewers, uh, especially the children, to think about um, when they want to answer this question. But I also ask, I'll ask it to uh, the lovely guests. Today I'm going to start with you, Hussein, And I want to ask, and especially for Sehan and, and, and uh, 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 Brother Hussein, um, how would you describe Imam al Hussein salam to non-Muslims? I will describe he's holy, handsome, very strong, and really good. Okay. What, what about his actions? What actions, actions would you describe him as? He would like, give money to the poor, help his family, um, respect everyone, respect Allah, pray. Okay, fantastic. Very, very good. Say on. So, I would describe Imam Hussein so as a uh, so as a leader of a revolution, so as a um, as a pacifist, as a saint, mm. as well. So a um, a person who loved to do good in all forms and hated bad in um, all forms. Fantastic, very good response. Especially when you use the word saint, um, these particular words non-Muslims understand. So sometimes when you say, look, um, Imam al Hussein is an Imam, but do non-Muslims really understand what Imam means? I don't think so. So you need to use words that non-Muslims can actually say, oh, that's what it's like. So using the word saint is a very good word to describe Imam al Hussein. Uh, Hussein. Um, for me, I would describe Imam al Hussein as the guide, as Rasulullah says, in al Hussein, Sbah al Huda, Sufint al Najad. I would say he's the art salvation, the same way how Noah saved his people. Imam al Hussein will save us on the day of judgment. Fantastic. Again, using uh, examples that not just uh, non Muslims, but non Shia would, uh, would, would understand. Because the moment you mention Prophet Noah, then you think, okay, whoever's not Shia would say, oh, I know, I know who Prophet Noah is. Um, he, he saved his people. So Imam al-Hussein saved his people similar to Prophet Noah. Very good, very good point. Now, Hussein, before we get into the poetry and before we get into the love mirror, um, Muslim al-Aqil, there's a lot that we can discuss about him. But I believe that you wanted to uh, kind of discuss how confident Imam al-Hussein was in Muslim al 
Tonight, we are commemorating Imam Hussein's confidant, but not just his confidant, but his brother, Muslim Naqeen alayhi salam, which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam states, تَدْبُعُ alayhi عِيُونَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ The eyes of the believer which are tears for him. He is the first martyr of Imam Hussein. But why did Imam Hussein specifically pick Muslim Naqeen to go to Kufa? As we know, Muslim Naqeen's uncle is Imam Ali alayhi salam. And obviously, he learned everything under his uncle's hand, such as horse riding, swords, how to deal with the sword, and so much so. But why? Just like how Imam Ali, as I said yesterday, chose his brother to go out to, for a wife, because he knew that man and his father, the same way how Muslim knew that man and his father and his tribe. But Muslim Naqi's bravery wasn't shown in Kufa. No, it was shown before in the Battle of Safin with his uncle Imam Ali alayhi salam. And of course, he lived with his uncle in Kufa for five years. That's how he, he knew the knowledge of the people. And it was narrated that he was around 34 in the Battle of Safin. And his bravery was so much like they wouldn't, the people say, is that Ali ibn Abi Talib or is that Muslim? Who is that? But when we go and look at Muslim Naqi, he was one of Imam Ali's greatest supporters as he was with him in the highs and the lows. He wasn't just a nephew to, to Imam Ali, he was as if he was a son to Imam Ali. And he was as a ferocious warrior as Imam Al Hussein was. But when Muslim Naqil sends you, when Imam Al Hussein sends you to be a Safir, you can't be some weakling. You have to be strong. That's why he was tough on the outside, but holy and pious on the inside. And that was Muslim Ibn Aqil. Fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful points. Um, especially since Imam Hussein alayhi salam, and I think we're going to get into that. There are specific words that he said. Yes. Um, when I send Im uh, Muslim Ibn Aqil, I don't just send a man, a normal man. You know, I send someone who's a trust. Um, for the immigration, but we'll get into that very soon. Sam, I just want to get into your um, your, your poetry for today. I'll be very, very interested to, to see how you would describe Muslim Ibn Aqib. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Muslim Ibn Aqib Muslim Ibn Aqib, a hero of Karbala. He died as a shaheed in but his story hides incredible bravery and behind all this daring can only be the son of the brother of Ali. He was sent alone to Kufa on a mission for Rabba Abdullah. He could not let down his cousin because from a whole caravan he had been chosen. As he entered the city, he was filled with determination to bring the message of Hussein to this nation. As he arrived, the, the joy spread amongst everybody. They had waited so long for someone from Hussein ibn Ali. The Kofans were excited to be the hosts of of the nephew of their ancient leader. To accept the invitation, they were over 18,000 in number. But in this light came darkness. And something or someone was about to perturbate this peacefulness. A dark figure presents itself at Kufa's gate. To suffer and my sword will be their fate if they stay too close to this relative of Ali. Ibn Ziyad finishes his sword for the king. The gate opens to the man's delight. He wants to become the ruler and kill Muslim overnight. Mm. Muslim kept going from house to house. But he couldn't go on forever. But his heart was at peace. The message of the saying he did deliver. He was found and 
despite his gallant fight, was captured and thrown off the Twitter's daughter. Nice. Salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. So, many thanks for that, Seha. Uh, I always look forward to when it comes to characters like Umul Banin and Mustafa ibn Aqil, um, I look forward to your historical analysis as well as the way you describe um, how he was. So, thank you for that. And I look forward to uh, more poetry, inshallah, in the coming. Nice. I'm saying, you know, I mentioned before, uh, Sehan, and I think you're going to continue this, that there's a specific saying that Imam al Hussein has when it comes to sending out Muslim al What was it? Imam al Hussein states, when the people will ask him, when are you coming? He will say, قَدْ بَعِثْتُ أَخَيْ وَابْنَ عَمِّي وَثِقَتِي مِنْ أَهْلِ بَيْتِي ثِقَتِي مِنْ أَهْلِ بَيْتِي Highlight that, how, this is how much Muslim Abna Aqil was trusted by Imam Hussein. And he was trusted even by his father. And we go back all the way back to the Battle of Sateen again. That he was trusted by Imam Al Ali to go into the battle. Alongside with Imam Al Hassan and Imam Al Hussein, Muslim Ibn Aqil, Hani Ibn Urwa, Muslim Ibn Aswaja, Maytam Al Tamar, and Kumail Ibn Ziyad. And a lot of these personalities who were in the Battle of Karbala, some died before, some died after, or some died during, they were all very ferocious in the Battle of Karbala. When the army of Abdullah ibn Ziyad, may Allah curse him, captured Muslim Naqil, they were fighting him, and they would keep on sending letters to him. We need more men, we need more men. Abdullah ibn Ziyad, Allah Ali, was sending men until he got fed up. He said, I asked you to capture one man. Not an army. Why do you need a thousand men? Look what they replied. They replied, This is no ordinary man. This is Muslim Aqil, the nephew of Ali ibn Abi Talib. And hence, he is with the haq, he is, with the, he is in the right. And probably that's why it took 1,000 men to capture only one man. Mm. And I believe this, uh, the, the Messiah of yes. uh, Muslim Aqil is very heartbreaking as well. So I think we can go into that as well. When they captured Muslim Ibn Aqil alayhi salam, they took him to the palace of Abaydullah ibn Ziyad alayhi salam. And he ordered them to chop off his head and throw him off the roof of the highest building. Before they were going to kill him, he asked permission to pray, to pray a Turek prayer, which he prayed. And when he finished, he turned toward Mecca, and that, and that is where Imam Hussein was, and said, Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah. This is your brother Muslim. All alone in Kufa. The Rachel mentioned that Imam Al Hussein stopped and turned towards Kufa and said, Wa alaykum as salam, ya Muslim. My dear brothers and sisters, wherever you are, if it's in the morning or afternoon or night, just send your salam to Imam Al Hussein. As if he responded to, to Muslim Naqil, he surely he will respond to your salam. Everybody is familiar with the story of Hamida. But what really breaks my heart the most is that when the news break came to the camp of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, Imam al Hussein was searching for Hamida. And when he found her, he put her in his lap and started to rub her head with his hand. Hamida realized something was up, as it, as it was the Imam's role that when they had an orphan, they would rub their hand over their head. She then said, has something happened to my father? The Imam cannot break the news to this beautiful young lady that her father had just passed away. So he states, I am your father and my daughters are your sisters. But the most painful thing is that not most people bring her on the pulpit and let she had that sense of bitterness, just like Fatima al-Halila. As she did not, as she was not able to bid farewell to her father one last time. In the name of Allah, 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 in the name Hussain, I think now you have a lakhmiya about Muslim Ibn Aqil. I'm going to help you. So, inshallah, we'll do it. I thought it was Ibn Hussain. No, no, but this, this is describing. Uh, Muslim Aqil speaking to 
Imam Hussain, because he says, Oh my Hussain, tell me, will I ever see you? Yeah. Again, yeah. So this is this is the words of Musa ibn Aqil speaking to Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Well, you know the, the tune of this, right? So I want you with a loud voice. Okay. I'm gonna help you with the Latin as well. So inshallah we can start. But can you can you tell everyone to do a salawat? Salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Oh my Hussein, tell me will I ever see you again? For to call for the ace of that they reference. I turn around, thousands praying behind me, now an empty crowd. Now I'm all alone, how can I make you proud? From door to door, every nook I feel weak, how is the ignore? I lose hope and find that you fall to her floor. I stand and pray till break of day, wishing you'd stay. I'd give my life, I'd give my life. I'd give my all, I'd give my soul for her saints call. I'd give my life, I'd give my life. At the wise home, praying all day, I won't be left alone. Morning comes and I trail my feet No, they call on me A lion at their facing so I'll never flee It would make you proud if only you could see On me they close, Showered with their swords and spears and then with skulls Your betrayal of pain is worse than broken bone I'll fight for you so my time's through What will you do? I give my life I give my all I give my soul To her saints call I give my life I give my life they bind my hands Wounded so badly Now I can barely stand Jack to the palace My blood staining the sun With them I play I feel it inside me So we'll both be there Pour a cup of water That fills blood red I say goodbye I say goodbye Turn towards Karbala And begin to cry to stuff the rooftop into the crimson sky I beg and plead So I can't breathe That you won't leave I'd give my life I'd give my life I'd give my all I'd give my soul For her saints call I'll give my life. I'll give my life. Salawat. Wow. Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Many thanks uh, for your time and for your recitation. Hussein Fadl, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Welcome. Appreciate it. It's absolutely fine. It's a pleasure to have you on. Thank you. Uh, once again, it's a pleasure to have uh, Brother Hussein Deft as well as Sehan Jetta for your poetry and the lecture. I look forward to the next uh, episodes, inshallah. On that note, I hope you've learned something about what it means to be a representative of Imam al Hussein, salam, similar to Muslim ibn Aqil. And inshallah, we'll see you in the following episodes of Verses of Love, Mini Hussein edition. Wassalamu alaikum jami'an wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you.